Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Open Shadow this Wednesday evening. Uh, today we are together. Uh, I think we're missing. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Open Shadow. Uh, and we all know how the situation over there is at Texas. Uh, but the five of us are here today and we're going to be discussing uh, to pose or not to pose, right? Let's put it mm. that. Pose or that not is the question. <laughs> That's the question, right? <laughs> the dollar question. Um, some people like to pose the models, others don't. Um, but I personally like a mixture of both. There are times where I want to pose people, and there are times where I just want to let the people do their thing and I capture as much as I can. Uh, so today we are discussing what our preferences are posing people or not posing people in what situations do we prefer posing to people than to just capture candid shots so we're going to share examples as well we're going to share some candid shots examples we're going to share some uh post examples and then we'll talk through the whole process uh, if you're in the comments guys let us know um you're here say hi um to us and we are interested and we are so excited to have you here with us this evening. We're gonna go around the table and we're gonna introduce ourselves. My name is Evans, this is my channel. Um, I do photography, uh, video stuff on this channel. I'm an events, weddings and portraits photographer. Um, I'm based in Brampton, Ontario. So I'll pass it over to the guy on my, I think he's on my left, <laughs> Kobe Catalyst. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Kobe Catalyst. Kobe Catalyst on all social media. I'm a portrait photographer based in California. And let's talk about it. Ooh. To pose or candid. Awesome. What do you, Paul? <laughs> what do I like? Uh, thanks everyone for jumping on. Uh, snazzy intro, whoever did that intro. Really like that intro. And if you guys don't know, we just started an Instagram account because it's the year 2021 and we should be on Instagram for the show. So make sure you follow us, Open Shutter YouTube. Um, you'd be surprised at how many Open Shutters there are on Instagram, but there are more than two. So Open Shutter YouTube was thankfully available and that kind of suits this channel. So um, yeah, thanks everyone, for, thanks everyone for jumping on. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Paul, based in Toronto. We are not in lockdown. We're kind of in lockdown. It's kind of a weird thing going on right now. I did get a haircut today, which is very exciting and uh big things man big things are happening and uh yeah i run a i run a photography meetup group called get out shoot visit us at getoutshoot.com i think we're going to do a meetup this weekend in the west end because the west end is open so look out for that visit us, visit us at getoutshoot.com and uh, make sure you like this video make sure you check out all these other guys channels and uh it's gonna be fun i'm i'm like posing right now this is me posing <laughs> that's why i'm not a that's why i'm not a model Yes. All right. Yes. My name is Brian McGowan, a uh, Brampton based photographer. Uh, shoot some YouTube as well. And somebody is getting some nice feedback going there. Yeah. All right. Mine's off. We, we got some bonus sounds up now. Yeah. So we still getting feedback? That's better. It's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Brian McGowan, YouTube, uh, Instagram. Check it out. Let's uh, let's talk about posing versus not posing. Mr. James, up to you. My name is Mr. Brian James. You'll find me mostly shooting street photography and portraits. And uh, look for me on the internet. Everything is Mr. Brian James. There's a few other Brian Jameses out there, but they're not right. as uh, and it's fantastic. No, it's good looking. One of them, one of them, one of them, I think, is an anime character. Um, nice. I would not be surprised. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. So I'm, 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 I'm the original. I'm the original. My name. Follow this guy right here on all socials, please. It's all, it's all you know. okay. Let's talk about uh, Let's talk, talk about, about posing and not posing. Yes, sir. Awesome, guys. So if you just joined us today, we are talking about candid shot versus post shots. Um, and this can take the form of anything. So we're going to start off. Maybe let's start talking about um, events photography as the first section um and what we want to see is when you're shooting events my first question will be to you guys uh those of you who have shot events um when you're shooting events what it's your preferred style right um and when i'm talking about events i'm talking about birthday parties weddings 
you know, all kind of events. I'm grouping them all into events. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to separate weddings out because weddings are basically events on the higher scale, but they're all together. So when you're shooting weddings, when you're shooting events, uh, what's your approach? Do you prefer to have the candid moments? Do you prefer to have the post shots? Um, and I know that, I, especially for weddings, we have that section where you are with the bride and the groom and you want to get some shots. So let's talk about that. If are you went, During that time, and as well as during the reception, as well as the ceremony, how do you approach it? Are you looking for um, candidates or are you looking for post shots and, and why? Why do you prefer one or the other? Good question. Oof. So let's start off with Kobe, since he's right on my <laughs> Wow. Kobe has a whole slide on this, doesn't he? <laughs> what? <laughs> a whole slide on this, right? Eh? No. <laughs> so, uh, well, I haven't done events for a while, but uh, when I was in the event scene, I mean, the name of the game is events, which is basically you're capturing the moments of whatever is happening. So for events... Uh, from my experience, it's like uh, most of the people who organize it, they prefer the candidates because then it reminds them of what was happening at that time when they reacted the way they reacted. But then you also don't want to forgo the basic necessities. Like if it's a birthday party, you really want the birthday person to have a feel of like a session alone. Or if it's a wedding session, you want the couple to have a feel of exclusive session alone but not uh, disregarding that, you still also want to get a candidate in during uh, the whole show. And it's so dicey when it comes to candidates. Uh, I feel like uh, normally for for my weddings, I used to shoot the candidates. So I used to be the second shooter on my own weddings because you know the, the general one or the way people used to shoot is, exchange of the rings, the vows, the kiss, walking down the aisle, all those things were the basic necessities of a wedding. But mine was like the reaction of someone looking back, maybe the groom looking back, waiting for the bride to march down the aisle, or the father-in-law laughing, or the mother-in-law crying, you know. Those intimate moments, I used to capture that because I and it's always those ones that resonated with the client. And that is different from having somebody say in front of the camera for a portrait session. It's it's quite different. So I feel like for events, candid is candid. You you need to get them as well as it's like 80% candid, 20% post, Mm -hmm. if I can put it that way. I don't know for the others because I've not shot in the other regions. So awesome. Yeah, Um, capture the moment, right? Yeah. Anybody else want to? I would. I would. I would say like like you know for me shooting shooting models a lot of the times we get um, obviously there's poses because there's a look you're going for but when shooting events you know I feel like uh, especially I've shot birthday parties and weddings that I would agree with with Kobe that you know eighty percent of the of your best shots are going to be candid because you're capturing those moments that uh, someone's going to remember where, of course you want the formal photos and things like that. And someone cutting the cake and things, but you'll miss those smiles. And uh, especially like when I do family shoots, um, if there's, especially if there's more than two people, I try to just let them play. I tell them just play, have fun, interact with each other. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I especially put a lot of, I put a, I put a lot of shots on my shutter, but, but uh, yeah, especially with kids. Ex- exactly. Yeah. 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 Tony has a good point. Right, so Stanley says sometimes a post shot can look forced or interpreted as fake. Candid is more of a true expression on honest feeling because the subject doesn't know the photo is being taken. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so for me personally, when I'm at events, um, most of my wedding shots, I would say 90% of them are candid, right? Mm-hmm. And at events. The only time I will actually try to pose the couple will be when we have that one-on-one sessions with the couples and I want to get some shots of them. However, even in those scenarios, I hardly really pose. What I mean by really pose is like pose, you know, give serious directions on do this, do it this way, turn your back. I get, I still posed, but I allow them, I, I tell them do this, do, you know, 
in a natural environment. And if there is something awkward, I correct it, right? So even though it's kind of posed, I, I allowed the couple to have about maybe 70% of the input of that pose in the sense that I want them to feel natural. I, thought I want them to feel uh, comfortable. I want them to be able to do and interact with themselves the way they do. There are times where you would have to take over and completely do the pose because maybe, yeah, the posing or the things they're doing may not look good on camera or stuff like that. But majority of the time, I like that fact that they have an input because it makes them feel more comfortable with the whole process right uh, and right. so that's how i do it i prefer uh during the wedding to have more of the candid shots especially with the guests and stuff like that get candid shots of the guests the interactions between the people at the, at the reception the people at the ceremony i like those candid moments because of the fact that they tend to look more natural. And in fact, the majority of my um, wedding clients will end up choosing those shots over the ones where you are actually posing them because it feels more intimate. It feels more natural looking. Um, they're not looking awkward in certain situations because let's face it, weddings uh, and events, you're not working with models, right? So these are not people who really knows how to pose or yeah or they're not used to being in front of the camera they're not being in front of the camera so when you want to pose them in a certain way the same way that you would pose a model uh they tend to come out looking fake and on un 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 unrealistic and unnatural yeah. and that's tony's point <laughs> tony with the uh, with the good point here all right so let's take a question says, do you guys told. think some photographers pose shots to try and make them look like pendant? Probably, but I think okay. people to some degree, yeah. <laughs> so let me let me um, let me explain this to Tony. When it comes to commercial photography, right, it is expected for the model to pose in a candid way. So when you go to say Walmart, when you go to Target, when you go to uh, Wells Green, all these places. Mm -hmm. And then you see these guys in these outfits posing. It's the job of the model to pose in that way. So commercial photography expects the model to be more like a 70% acting in a candid way. And that's how they get their job. And that's the difference between commercial photography model and then uh, the fashion photography model. The fashion photography model, they have to nail all the angles correctly and all of that. But a commercial photography model has to come out as if they weren't even aware the picture was being taken in order to connect with the audience. So yeah, yeah sometimes uh, they are expected to pose candidly, <laughs> if mm -hmm. that's, that's a phrase. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Awesome. So we've talked about weddings um, and events. Uh, if anybody has some images you want to share, you can share them now, and then we'll move on to talking about working with mo uh, models um, in a studio setting. So we talk about commercial photography. Of I have my, uh, I got my screen there if you want to take a look. Um, yep. It was a family I shoot I did in the fall. Now. There we go. I only Here. have one screen tonight, but you can see that the, Obviously, the photo on the left is very much posed and uh, still came out really cute, but, you know, a little uptight. Everyone's kind of got that silly grin. But when you look at the girls yeah. on the right, this yeah. is um, what I did was I, I gave them each a leaf that was for a different shot. But basically, I told the older sister to whisper a funny secret into her younger sister's ear. And right after she told her, they both started like giggling hysterically. And so this is what, uh, that's good. This was the result. So it was cute. Super I got a bunch cute. of good shots from that, but, but those, uh, you know, I mean, the, the clients picked uh, 10 photos for print and I think probably seven of them were the candid shots and just a few were the posts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, nice. Uh, I shared that's a candid nice. family photo there too. So you're so. right. Yep. I just told them to grab a handful of leaves and throw them at each other mm. Mm -hmm. uh, using the, a burst and just firing off 
you know, 20 yeah. odd photos every time they toss leaves in the air. And yeah. It's always good when you make them do something. Yeah. Oh, it was fun. They were all laughing and having a good time. And Yeah. That's good, man. I like that. It was fun. Awesome. Where, where was that taken? Uh, it's a park in Brampton called White Spruce. It's actually White. a disc golf oh. course. Uh, yeah, that's right beside my house. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's like two yeah. minutes walk from my house. I always yeah. walk there. It's there a great go. spot for a photo shoot. It's a great it's, spot. The man that knows everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is an engagement shoot I did a um, couple of, maybe about two years ago. Uh, this one is, like Tony was saying, you, you post them to look candid. Right. So I had them set, do a few stuff, but then I said, do your thing, say something to her, let her laugh. Right. So even though they, I positioned them on that rock on purpose, had the guy's hands uh, positioned that way and hold her hands, mm -hmm. the guy turning to her and her laughing was basically me telling them, to, uh, telling the guy, tell her something that you mm -hmm. like about her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he said something, she smiled, they were laughing. I got that shot, right? Um, cool. So candid doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have to know you're shooting, right? Sometimes they can still know you're shooting, but you gotta do something to make them do feel something like that natural. Natural. Yeah. Feel like natural, yeah. Feel like right? Respond in a natural way. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Totally. So. We just talked about weddings. Now let's talk about in-studio shoots. So let's say you have a, a model, you want to shoot in a studio, or even if you get a TFP shoot, you are shooting in a studio. Um, how much of a posing, how much of an effort do you put into posing that kind of shoot? Um, for me, I, I think, well, I, I would say that Kobe's the expert on this, but well, for, you just for, had you just had a studio shoot recently, so <laughs> <laughs> you have fresh well, perspective. I had I had I mean I, I'm pulling up a couple examples here, just trying to block out the rest of my screen. I'm only on one screen tonight, so um, I hope this counts as candid and posed. Let me see here. I would say you probably want to, want to pose them more because it's not an event the, for me. Yeah, for me, it's I not mean. An event. It, with an experienced model, she knows how to pose. However, yeah. I, you know, I have a vision in mind. So if, if she's not doing something that I wanted her to do or he and uh, or there's a vision that I have, I'll try to explain it. And, and oftentimes I end up acting it out, which is kind of funny showing a, a female how to pose I being pose. a guy. It looks oh, a little yeah. feminine. But, what, you know, sometimes words don't don't uh, don't quite express, especially if sometimes there's a, a language barrier to not a language barrier, but some, yeah, I mean, sometimes they don't understand exactly what you're you trying to, to convey through words. So you kind of just show them what you want them to do. As a photographer, um, you just have to be prepared to look like an idiot sometimes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, that's me every well, day. I have an example here that I just shot. Um, hopefully this is a good enough <laughs> example. Oh, no. right here. I don't have it on yeah, my screen. Yeah. You, you got me? Yep. Yep. Oh, we have you. We have you, Brian. <laughs> so, uh, well, because I can't, I don't want you to see like the, you know, you know what I mean? The million screens inside the million screens. Well, the matrix, we just saw the matrix. So, so um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So basically the shot on the left was, was, was posed and that this was kind of my idea to have her lean. Um, yeah. I had her strategically put her hand across the middle here. So we don't get yeah. it too, too risque, yeah. if you will. Right. And, uh, although she's not centered in the back of this, I love the, I love the angles, you know, mm -hmm. um, everything's kind of at a diagonal. So I thought that was really neat. And then as a candid shot, um, just kind of had her looking off to the side. And this, I think this was between shots because just before that I had her looking straight on with kind of a fierce look. So I think that would be more of a candid shot, but it worked. Um, although this was mm -hmm. my preferred, this is my preferred result. Yeah, I think so. That was, that was pretty nice as well, so yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So I have I've also turned my screen on just to show uh, one All of it right. that I did I think three years ago in the studio. Uh, I think that's this one. Yeah, 
So uh, this was when I was doing my red project. Uh, that's why I don't see. I don't one. see the red. Where's the red? Oh, <laughs> yeah, color <laughs> blind. <laughs> <laughs> so it's this was uh, this was one of the pictures that I wanted her to nail this pose. So I, we kind of deliberated on it, and then we pulled it off. But then in the same shoot, uh, we were able to also pull off this one. Oh, it was awesome. a candid shot. Mm -hmm. So it was like she was just yeah. talking to me. We were joking around, and then I just clicked the shot. Mm. So it's not always that uh, you get you get uh, to tell the model what to do, what not to do. But once you have a great model in front of you, they can actually pose like give candid poses that would really make it, you know, make the cut. So I, I normally do that. Even within the shoot, there are points where I tell the model, just do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just be shooting and then just be going with the flow. So uh, it's, it's difficult to nail them because sometimes you might have them with their tongue out, their eyes closed. So you, you have to master your timing and everything, but it's worth it having uh, about 100 pictures and getting five great ones out of it. So it's excellent. Yeah, so. and I think that's one of the things that as photographers, especially when we are shooting in a studio setting, sometimes we forget the fact that the goal is not to get a thousand good images, <laughs> right? The goal is to get up um maybe of out of each outfit if you're able to get five great images or as paul would say it five bangers bangers yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's, how you do this thing. that's more than good enough so you're going to end up on a shoot maybe shooting um 200 images let's say right if out of that 200 images you're able to get um even 10 good solid shots right for me, I consider that to be a successful shoot because at the end of the day, if you uh, unless you're shooting an event, right, you're not going to be delivering a hundred images to a model, right, for of one 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 particular outfit. Yeah, right. So I think you gotta play around, and that's what I like to do: play around with the posing aspect, uh, let them have some candid moments in there, um, and keep shooting. Right. I shared a different kind of candid studio shot. Yep. It's actually in a recording studio. Nice. So this is How actually the guy that Andre and I do music guy? videos for. Yeah. The musician dude. So, and he wanted some in studio shots. So I just said, all right, we'll turn on all the lights. And the yeah, sound engineer cool. was actually standing behind me. And I said, okay, just sing your song and I'm going to shoot you singing it. Make it as mm -hmm. natural as possible. Beautiful. Yeah. Just used a wide angle lens and just had fun with it in the studio space. I love the framing. Dang. Yeah, yep. framing's cool. It's Thanks. like the walls on fire. It's making man. it difficult for us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So this was really? one of the in-studio uh, candid shots where I was doing a maternity shoot for a friend. And mm -hmm. So uh, she was just playing with her husband. The husband was playing with her belly, and then I just took those shots. So. Love the dress. Yeah, love the dress. Yeah, it was it was my styling though. Like you know, I put the whole flowers on the head. Stylist too. Very nice. It works, man. I so used happy. to be good. I don't know what happened. I used to be good. <laughs> I used to be good. Okay, so this image here. Now I'm sharing this. This is a candid shot. Uh, this is not in studio, right? Mm. This was an, actually at an event, but I'm sharing it because it kind of looks like it was shot in a studio, right? With the background and, and everything. And a good thing is that she's a model. She knew what she was doing. Uh, but she actually didn't even know I was taking the shot. Where this was at a fashion show, right? And it was not the actual fashion show, but it was like 
the opening event for the fashion show. So in the night, they were just declaring that event open. It was a weekend fashion show for three days. So the first day was like a cocktail night, introducing the whole concept of what they're going to be doing. So this model was just sitting there in the chair. Um, I grabbed my camera, trying to take a shot because I like the yellow background yeah. where she was. And as soon as I was just about to take the shot, she turns and just looks at me, like towards me at my uncle. And boom, that was just that shot. Yeah, nice right. man. So sometimes um, having that eye for, you know, taking shots while people are sitting, even when the model is dressing, because last, last, the last time, what was it? I was out with Mr. Brian James in the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, the model was just looking at herself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And my wedding mm -hmm. photography instincts just kicked in, right? Yeah. I just got in there, framed her in the mirror, and, and started taking shots. So sometimes that's how I work. I'm not waiting for the medal to be ready and say, I'm ready, right? While she's doing stuff, I kind of sneak up yeah. here and there and get some shots um, without her no, even knowing or seeing that I'm, I'm taking the shots. And those shots come out sometimes ends up being the best shots of the shoot. Yeah. I said I said that too. As soon as soon as I saw you, I was like, "Oh, that's a classic uh, bride getting ready shot right there." Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I actually I actually have a posed studio shot. So. Oh. Ooh, that's that's at uh, Vision Room Men's? Studios in Brampton. Yeah. Oh, what studio is it? Vision Room. Mission Room. Vision. 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 Ah. Yeah, Vision Room. So that's in their Jaipur room. It's really nice. Is that an automatic drive? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice space. It's a really nice space. Good guys that run it, too. Wow. So I got that one from in there. And oops. Wrong. That's definitely, that a, those are definitely yeah, candid. That's bird definitely shots. candid. That's right. <laughs> they didn't pose for those. And that one as well. That's in the same, different room in the same studio. Whoa, that's uh, very cool. Nice. cool. Tony, Tony wants to share a photo. He sent it to me. Okay. 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 It's on the. I shared the screen. My screen. Oh, okay. I will share oh, that next. Nice. Like, after yeah. Bryce. So, so guys, is, uh, is, guys in the comments, don't forget you can leave us a comment. Let us know you are in here. You know. So this is one of my candid moments from uh, along the beach. Yeah. Yeah, with a friend. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. And it actually ended up uh, being taken by the uh, fashion designer. Mm. Feature okay. on her, her web page. So yeah. they were having their shoes, but she was just walking to the set, and then I just got it right there. I love the framing. Yeah, nice, man. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Was the, was the background that desaturated or did you do that no that's that's it that's how that's, it was. that's awesome yeah. that's awesome it was an uncompleted um amphitheater so okay nice yeah. cool. it worked well yeah i used to be lucky yeah. those days <laughs> <laughs> um you know photography is only maybe if if even if there is luck in there is maybe five percent luck and 95% preparation <laughs> and waiting for the opportunity, right? Yeah. Oh, the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be ready. All right. Paul, you ready? Yeah, man. I'm going to go to your screen next. Tony, can you like just share exactly what this photo is? Because I don't, you just, you just sent it to me. So <laughs> let's see if we can figure it out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So there it is. Let's get rid of Lightroom. So Tony, you want to explain? <laughs> I think Oops. it looks more of a candid. Yeah. It looks more like an in-studio candid shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is that like a fur coat she's like draped, got draped over? Like, what is that? Yeah, it's a fur. It's like a mink shawl or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's really nice, Tony. I like that a lot. Yeah, Tony, Tony, this is what we would call a banger. <laughs> Shopping. Basically. Yeah. 
Sorry, I can't see the screen. I don't know if Tony's like explaining what this is. No, he's Tony, not. Uh, Tony, Tony's, explain. Tony's not. No. Tony, explain. <laughs> he's keeping us in the suspense. It's like, y'all mm. gotta figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, you take it down, I guess. Yeah. Cool photo, though. Okay, so. Oh, it's, yeah. We can leave it's it up. Funny. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Oh, Tony says. Tony um, <clears throat> Exactly. In between post shots, I got this beautiful candid. Nice. So in between, eh? Cool. Tony so, Bab is sharing his IG to us right now in the comments because I mean it's Tony Tags. Tony yeah. Tags. It's Tony Tags, man. I'm right there. So you guys have been hiding all the talents from me. Uh yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is another um, in studio shot, uh, posed but not overly posed, right? So, yeah, posed but still kind of candid looking. Um, like we said in the beginning, sometimes it's good to uh, pose but not have it look completely posed. But mm -hmm. plus, the light's nice. I think right. I think when they look away, I think when they look away, sometimes it kind of adds that uh, yeah. like I wasn't ready for you to shoot, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's got it's got yes. a certain like vibe to it. All right, so we've talked about. Oh, I was going to uh, go one more post studio. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. There we go. Awesome. Oh, jeez. Nice. Is this Brian? This is Mr. Brian James gets ready for a wedding a wedding event. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you told me you weren't going to post this. It was private, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did this is actually leg day. <laughs> I did photos for this guy for a book he was doing, and this was one of the shots. Cool. Wow. Cool. Very cool. My thing is that why are you working out in jeans? <laughs> that was the vibe. Yeah. Yeah, man. That was the whole vibe. Paul, you Paul, you have to work what, out. Why, first why do I eat you're able to ask questions like that? Why do I eat, <laughs> cup, <laughs> why do I eat cupcakes and sweatpants? Uh, because who cares? <laughs> yeah. It tastes <laughs> great. <laughs> so we've talked about weddings and events. We've talked about in studio. Um but what what if you are on location outdoors, right? Oh, this so is my favorite area now. When you are outdoors, um, doing a shoot, um, what you like to do? So uh, this time I'm not talking about pro pro models, but I'm talking about you've got a regular shoot, you know, average Joe out on the street, and you're doing an outdoor shoot, be it at a park, on the streets. How do you go about that? Are you looking at completely posing them or are you looking at more candid in the moment kind of shots? So I shared one just now and this was very much just a go over there, do your own thing within this because I was using off camera flash actually. So I said within this area, just do your own thing in the water and I'm just gonna snap a bunch of photos and we'll go from there because she she has zero modeling experience so we were just it was a birthday shoot mm -hmm. and we just had fun with it yeah you said birthday her, shoot nice. birthday shoot <laughs> <laughs> That's no, it, was a, it was a best friend shoot so there were two of them and the couple one they each got their own shots and there were some shots of them together you know splashing each other and having fun and it was just a fun shoot all around we had a great time, yeah. but nothing too posy posy. Right. Yep. So for me, I guess right. I don't shoot too much on this. Like I, I'm a, well, I'm a street photographer. So the people I'm shooting don't know I'm shooting them most of the time. Yeah. So yeah, they're basically all candid for me. Um, I, I, and when I, the only other people I would shoot on the street, just because I like that vibe is would probably be a model. So there's going to be more posed stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So this was a fun. Although I do uh, ask strangers occasionally, like, hey, man, you look. That's one of the ways I get people to to kind of give me a reaction or look at me without getting like the kind of just surprise, take the photo and walk away is I'll kind of get <laughs> yeah. them. First, I hit them with a compliment like, hey, man, wow, you look awesome. Do you care if I snap you? And I take it anyways. I'm like, do you care if I, <laughs> and that way I get them to look at me or yeah. something. And then sometimes I'll get this smile or something like that. So, yeah. I mean, you like, have huh? awesome candidates on, on your page. Uh, I always admire them so much. Okay, guys. So this was a friend, a friend of mine that I took in Chicago. All I did was to tell him, okay, just dress up, do your thing. I just had to make sure he was in the location, the space. That's it. And then we just took a couple of candid pictures. It wasn't posed. I never told him that do this or do that. I just tell him that, oh, just feel free. So he had a call from the office and then I just took this. I'm yet to make money from this though. <laughs> I, might, I might probably put it on the stock. Uh, yeah, stock I was gonna say that would yeah. kill on, yeah. on stock. Yeah, so. sure. that that yeah, that's kind of business shoots kind of kills on, on stock photos. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a posed outdoor shoot. Yep. That was very much this is how we're lighting it. This is how you're going to stand. This is where the smoke is going to be coming from. Very posed. Your, Works your images are bangers. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. But guys, we are not talking about that one candid picture that comes up a lot, uh, a lot of the time for a specific mm -hmm. genre. All right, you can go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was listening. No, I'm still, I'm still looking for it. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this was an engagement shoot. Um, that's my sister-in-law. And we were out in the woods just shooting, right? Um, and all I just said to the guy was, go up and walk up to her, right? And just grab her, spinning her around, and have fun. So he walked back. Um, and as he was walking towards her, I just was taking continuous shots. He grab he grabs her, spins her around. I'm just shooting best mode. Click, 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 click. And then at the end, I chose one good looking one out of it. So for engagements and stuff like that, I like stuff like that because I like it to be um, just about the two of them doing their own thing, having fun, doing what they like to do outdoors. Um, there are times where I'll pose, but majority of the time I'll just let them I just want to capture the interaction between the couples. Yeah, it helps them to even uh, remember the moment, you know. The moment. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I got a nice uh, candid shot of Paul. Oh, yeah. I don't think he <laughs> So this is the candid shots that we haven't spoken about yet, which is concert. Uh, True. For concerts, it's all about candidates. You need to make sure you're getting the moment, you're getting... And I think I've shot about three concerts. This was my first one. And I got some great images uh, that featured at the end of the day on the website, even though I wasn't contracted, but I ended up getting paid That's by awesome. them. So uh, I always say that you can master, just master your candidates as much as you can because the day you nail them in a concert, you're making big bucks and going on tours all over the place. <laughs> yes. So Tony has a question. He says, I hear sometimes from wedding photographers that shooting weddings in, uh, in a photojournalistic style, is that the same as shooting candid? Um, not necessarily the same, but around the same lines. So. When you're shooting um, in a photojournalistic style, uh, basically what you're doing is you're documenting the day step by step as the whole day happens. Uh, you can have a mixture of candidates, you can have a mixture of posts, but majority of the shots that day is going to be candidates because you are there um, like a journalist covering an event, right? So you try to stay out, um, away or stay away from being in the middle of the whole scene um and just hang out and just snipe away right so yes sometimes it's candid 
sometimes it may not be uh but majority of the time it's, it leans more towards kind of if you're being photojournalistic but the whole po po uh, point of being a photojournalist is to document the process the day and and all the activities that are happening yeah it's news like it's different it's good news you're doing it for news right and it's a lot more images sometimes because yeah. you want to tell a cons uh, a, a story right from the beginning to the end without missing any moment so it doesn't it doesn't really matter uh some of the elements in there it just has to be a cohesive story so that needs a bit further more than just candid in order to yep. know photojournalism in wedding yeah. okay so this is uh mm. brampton jazz festival so i actually for the last number of years, I've done the photos for the Brampton Jazz Festival. And this one actually ended up on the cover of the Festivals and Events of Ontario magazine that goes out every year. And it's uh, cool. just a candid shot of this couple enjoying the music at the Brampton Jazz Festival in downtown Brampton. I hope nice. we get to do that again someday. I hope so. I really Stop hope so. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I love shooting that event because I get like complete access to the stage and everything. So I've actually yeah. got, they've got spotlights coming in on the stage. So I've got some great shots of musicians playing backlit by spotlights and things like that. Yeah, good times. Like that one. Yeah. Because I can you just get right on stage it. and shoot. You've been killing it from yeah. the ages. Wide angle lens. That was a base, base sax, I think. No, not a base. <laughs> Come on, five points. Anyone can guess what that kind of saxophone that is. I don't know, man. That's a I don't know my saxophone. Which one? The big one? Very this. Ah, this. Baritone. The alto. The alto size. Nice. No, the alto is little, man. Baritone's. Sure. I'm a sax player. <laughs> yeah. I'm confused. I, I, trust, you. I trust you. I got you. two under my bed right now. That's a baritone. You play sax, Ben? Yeah. Damn. That's yeah, a very we, we, sax. we need that on open shutter. <laughs> Which other skills show? don't you have? It might be a different show. No, right? <laughs> we might we might close that shutter down if I play. <laughs> <laughs> we need you playing, please. All right, so um we're getting there. Um, we've talked about weddings. We've talked about events. We've talked about outdoors and stuff. Um, in the next couple of and guys in the comments, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. This is how uh, YouTube, you know, let people find us. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, also, don't forget we now have our, our IG handle. Um, Open shot on YouTube. YouTube. Yes. So next level. Next level. I thought, I, thought Paul, I thought Paul was doing a whole training for the thumbs up and then the algorithm. <laughs> Paul, what happened? I'm doing a training the on you made, you made a man's takeover. You're supposed to say it all. <laughs> what you said don't forget yeah. to hit, hit that <laughs> thumbs up. Make sure you hit like this video. Up. Smash <laughs> the <laughs> notification bell. All that no, stuff. Make, make sure you check out our IG though, because um, yeah. that IG handle is going to be more geared towards the show. Uh, so whenever we want suggestions, opinions, polls, or even when we do contests and stuff, that's where um, most of the promo is going to happen. Uh, we may post them on our personal pages as well, but I believe um, photos of and all that stuff will be better on that channel. Um, don't also forget to check out the uh, Facebook page, right? It's all linked up in the description. Um, if you have any questions and stuff like that, you can always leave us a message on I uh, Instagram or even on the Facebook page, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible we can, right? Um, so as we're rounding up, guys, um, last thoughts, last images you want to share? Trying as to we find round up. I'm trying I'm trying to find some concert fix I have somewhere. Let me look for my I just remind I just remember I do have I do have concert photos. You should, Paul, because I was I was at a couple of those when we shot some. Yeah. At a couple <laughs> of meetups, you know? Yeah. 
Back to Candid Street. Mr. Brian oh, please, James. Please, please bring them out. I just shared a Candid Street, which is Mr. Brian James' specialty. But yeah. I'm trying. That's nice. Ooh, this image, man. I, I got to go back and watch Brian's video on uh, this pixel stretch thing. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. That's easy. I haven't watched Not Brian's video. Sorry, Brian. But it's all right. I haven't. I already know how to do it. So Not too many people finish. have. It's a hidden gem. <laughs> I don't think we got too many people. <laughs> but I did have a. I did have a lot of my followers tag me in their photos that they that they attempted, and some were really nice. Nice. Some were better than mine. So. Yeah. I did. Um, I did a pixel stretch. It was one of the examples I was going to show tonight for the. Let's see. This is one of my. Oh, I, of course, I'm not sharing my screen anymore. Share screen. Share screen. There you go. That was one of my examples for the pixel stretching. Nice. Same thing. It was just, uh, this was supposed to be there. I Did you kind of add a, in a little bit of uh, what radar bre? A blur? That's yeah. That's exactly what it was. So this actually wasn't. This wasn't so much the up and down uh, stretching. It was yeah. Mm -hmm. It was radio yeah, blur, and then I just masked out the rest masked of it. it out. Nice. I actually have a radio blur from. And I had a candy that I can't find her anymore. Where's my? Uh... This had a really cool candid shot up, and now it's missing. Mm. Mm. All right, get me off the screen. I'll find it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where did he go? So uh, this one is one of those street shots. Um, Paul, you should remember mm -hmm. this. I think this mm -hmm. was what? Uh, was a CN Tower. No, not the entire um, the X oh. exhibition center. Yeah, the last meetup we did there, where we had some, we oh, had in some twenty nineteen stuff. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, and, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got lost. Oh yeah, I, I remember. Find, I couldn't find oh, you yeah. guys, and I then remember. I ended up um, inside this yeah. concert place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just <laughs> hanged out there, um, shot a couple of. You know, concert style. That's a great shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always good times. Yep. See any, hopefully, it happens this year. We shall see. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that we get that again. I'll show another to go out concert shot here using a little trick that I've shown off at a few meetups I've been to. There, I shared one there, Evan. It's a concert shot. If you want to throw it up, yeah. So yeah. that the reflection is actually from holding my phone in front of the lens. Mm, that trick. <laughs> yep. so you just you hold if you're using a, a wider lens, you can hold your phone in front of your lens and actually create a reflection. So that reflection is just my phone yeah. out in front of my lens. Yep. I just thought it was a neat, neat look for that shot. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, okay. Nice. I found. I found him. I found him. All right. Am I sharing again? Hit me up. Uh, yep. We see your screen, but I think your battery died. Uh oh. No, no. You can see okay. me, right? Or no? Uh, nope. We can't see. Yeah. You. We can't see you, sorry, but we sorry, can see sorry, your sorry, screen. Sorry. We oh, can see wow, okay. oh, now we Good see you. So this is Paul. This is Paul and I went jogging the other day and uh, just grabbed a quick quick shot. I'm just, yeah, I'm just it, was, it was actually laundry day. It was actually laundry day. So <laughs> I was going to say that it looked for you. <laughs> when I saw this guy with these pants, I was like, oh, thank God I was standing here. And got mm -hmm. this. But this was this, the shot I wanted to show. It's like a candid shot on the street. Nice. But I just... I love the emotion in this guy's face. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like, just tell um, me when it's over. 
Like, I don't know if he was just mad that I was taking his photo or he was just done with life <laughs> or what. He looks like he's stressed you know, out. His kid might have a dirty diaper. I don't know what the situation yeah. was. But, uh, <laughs> either way, I liked it. So That's great. Yeah. Nice one, man. Okay, I found I found, the... eight, I found eight concert photos. It's not the photo I was looking for, but just so I can participate in some fashion. Let me just do... Let's go. Uh, yeah, I lost a bunch of files because my hard drive crashed, which isn't fun. Yeah, that's, oh, that's always a bummer. God. Sure. Okay, let that's me know when you're ready so I can put you up. I'm ready. Okay. You got it? Yep, you're up. You see it? Oh, nice. Okay. So this is a guy who was just like, whatever, doing something with his guitar, or getting some water or something. So I just like how the light comes from above. It just makes him look like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, yeah. it was fun. It was cool. I also like the guy's red, red, red bandana. I have better pictures of him. I just can't find them. But it was a, it was a cool concert. You guys miss concerts? I miss concerts, man. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> uh, I'm a shooting a lot of theater, too. Yeah. You got to shoot for a bunch of theater companies, and I miss shooting the productions. I have to admit. Yeah. As much as I can't stand musicals, I enjoy shooting them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, any last words? Um, candid or posed? What's your um, preferred methods? And then um, let's do a rundown, round table quickly, and then we can run down. Starting as usual, guy next to me from Sacramento, California. <laughs> Coming in. Well, six, six. Six. I'm sure by now you guys have figured what I prefer as a portrait photographer, <laughs> definitely post. But um, in between, I also like the candid moments because uh, it shows authenticity. It brings out the human parts of the subjects that I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. But then what I'll say is um, to master candid shots, you have to train your eye. You have to preempt what's going to happen in the next few seconds so that you position yourself, you get your framing right and everything. That's what makes Pete Souza stand out as one of the best presidential um, photographers. Oh yeah, He's ever grace the White House. So 100%. the more you shoot, the more you master your eye and preempt moments. And I'll say that shoot as much as possible. People will only see what you put out there. If yeah. you don't like what you shoot, you delete them. So yeah. keep shooting, keep mastering. Mm -hmm. All right, I can follow that up. Yeah, can't, <laughs> can't follow. Up. Just make sure you like this video. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Uh, thanks everyone for jumping on. Um, yeah, I don't know. For me personally, I would probably say candid because I like getting those moments that you can never ever duplicate. You can always duplicate a post shop. You can never duplicate like a moment. So for me, it's probably candid. Um, but what, what do I know? I know, I know, I know next to nothing. I know next to nothing. So, um, yeah, thanks everyone for jumping on and we'll see you next week for a special episode of, of Open Shutter. Special episode. Special episode. Cause it's our, episode. it's our 147th show. No, I just made oh. that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just made that up. Are we going to reveal why it's special? Uh, I'll tell, I'll tell you offline. Offline. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Ooh. Sorry. Sounds sorry. good. Sorry, right. My so, teachers told me I was special when I was younger. Maybe that's what it is. You still uh, are. Bro. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I stopped loving you on though. Entering the chat is. <laughs> anyway, that's anyway. that's all I got. Like, Make sure you like this video. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I guess uh, it's, it's a blend. You know, It all depends on, on what I'm doing. If, if I'm shooting concerts and things like that, it, it's obviously going to be candid. But if I'm setting up a shot with someone like Laura or with some fire or smoke, then there's a certain element opposing to it because you want to achieve a certain look, and that's that's just what it is. So, yeah, that's 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 my take on it. 
other than that, thanks for watching. And according to Paul, we're going to have a special episode next week. So I thought this was a special episode, honestly, but uh, it is for me. I agree with Brian. For, <laughs> for me, if it's if it's something in the studio, something with a model, it's most likely going to be posed. But being that. Uh, you know, street photography is really my my passion, and I love catching those candid moments, and that's what makes street photography wonderful, I think. So um, I'm a big fan of the, the candid shots. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't come out, but um, it is a skill that you learn, and you like like Kobe mentioned, that you kind of anticipate something's about to happen, or I'll find myself in places where I know something has to happen and try to catch those shots. But, um, yeah, it's a mixture for me. Thank you, everyone, for joining us, and thank you to our gracious host, Evans, tonight for having us. And uh, good night for me. Night. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, thanks for joining us. Um, don't forget everyone's IG, uh, YouTube channels are all in the descriptions below. Um, so check it out. Go out, subscribe to everyone's channel. And we'll see you next week, I think, on Paul's channel. I think it's mine. Right? And so. then we're going to uh, have more fun. So... Like I always say on this show, we are here because you guys are always here to support us, and we truly appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, go subscribe to the Open Shutter IG account as well, because there's good stuff coming up on that on that page, right? We're gonna be posing challenges, uh, post challenges, right? Um, all of that. We want to get you guys more involved with this show because it's a community fire. show, right? So. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the night, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Cheers.